Okay, practice mono hybrid question one, page 10. Uh, so these questions are a little bit different, but we're gonna show that as we progress through it, because of course in a test environment, you're not gonna know what type of question you get until you start analyzing some of the question. So it says, uh, pea plants, round seeds. So let's just do a quick little legend. We know this already. We know this to be true, that a round seed is dominant trait over wrinkled seeds. So that hasn't changed, same legend, but let's just for convenience sake, put this on, a, on this slide here. So uh, continue on. So that's step one, legend. Step two, underline the parents, tell me their genotypes. A round seed plant is crossed with another round seed plant. So let's put the genotypes, and we're gonna see something very quickly here. When it's round seed, I know, looking at my legend, I know it must have at least a capital R. But at this stage, they haven't told me if it's heterozygous round or if it's homozygous round. So we don't know. So these type of questions, best scenario, put a little line in there indicating that, no, I don't know all the genotype. I do know part of it, but I don't know the other part. And I'm going to represent the part I don't know by a line. So crossed with another round seed plant, same deal here. Capital R, because it is round, so we know it must have a dominant round allele. And the other one, we don't know again if it's homer or heterozygous. So we put a line to represent that we don't know. When we see these type of questions, it is impossible to go on to question three, uh, or sorry, step three. And step three is doing a Punnett square and isolating the gametes, or isolating the genotypes into gametes. We can't do that here. So there's no way, a lot of people, students will say, well, how do I know when to do a Punnett, when can I not? And if you don't know the genotypes of that, parents or any of the parents there's no way that you can do upon it we're going to go to the next phases of steps so that delegates it to a different series of steps and you see that articulated on page 10 when we have a little summary flow chart on problem solving with some of these monohybrids if you can't do step two you're going to divert over to the other problems that requires you to find unknown genotypes of the parents that's what these questions are going to do they're gonna ask you, well, what is the genotypes? And the only way they can do these questions if they have some offspring. So when you see these type of questions where you don't know the genotype of the parents, they must, absolutely must have offspring. And you look at the phenotypes for the offspring to be able to fill in some of these blanks. And you're not just looking for any old offspring. What you're looking for is recessive offspring. We love recessive offspring. This is like your Sherlock Holmes. What I love about genetics is you're actually looking for clues to be able to solve these type of genetic problems. So this is gold right here. So when you look at the offspring, they say they have six offspring. We don't care how many. We don't even care about at this stage the ratio. All we're looking for is any recessive offspring, and they do. They produce wrinkled offspring. That means these wrinkled offspring must have had a little r, little r, two recessive alleles. Where did they come from? This is where we get to fill in the unknown parents. Each parent has to contribute allele to that offspring. So that means this parent must have received or donated one, and this parent must have donated the other recessive allele. So now what we've done by looking at that wrinkled offspring, and again, that's your, that's your Sherlock home clue right there, uh, that enables us to be able to fill in the unknowns here. So. The question says, determine the genotype of the parents. We know that one parent is heterozygous and so is the other. And we would always expect again, when you have two parents with heterozygous, the pattern is that it will be a three to one ratio. Okay, thanks guys. Any questions, give me an email. Thank you.